Here's another case. It's called adenocarcinoma stomach linitis plastica. Like any other adenocarcinoma of the stomach, which of course starts along the mucosal aspect and may form a big bulky tumor, the main growth pattern of a linitis plastica defined as poorly differentiated but diffusely infiltrating adenocarcinoma throughout all the layers of the stomach gives the stomach a uh, an appearance that the wall is very diffusely thickened. There may or may not be much evidence left of a mucosal tumor. And for this reason, it gives the stomach, like you see here, and another one that I found over here, an appearance of one of those uh, leather bottles that you drink wine out of uh, at the Greek festivals. Here's an, an actual leather bottle showing why linitis plasticas are called that. The diffuse and so poorly differentiated, it just diffusely thickens the entire wall of the stomach. Sometimes there's not even much of a lumen left. And whereas, yes, it's a poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma, the bulk of the tumor consists of poorly differentiated, perhaps abortive glands or signet ring cells, diffusely throughout all three layers of the stomach wall. And here is the mucosa, perhaps, or what's left of the mucosa. I really don't see much there. This looks like this is an extensively infiltrated submucosa. This looks like there's a lot of disrupted smooth muscle fibers of the wall. And this is a diffusely fibrotic uh, serosa. This is the world's best, most classic uh, microscopic picture of a linitis plastic. Sometimes the cells are so small and subtle, you kind of miss it and you think, where's the tumor and why is the stomach, stomach wall so thick? But actually the tumor is very intimately dispersed, often as uh, individual cells and sometimes as small nests like you see here and here throughout the entire thickness of the stomach. Let's uh, zip it a little bit on higher power and to go from the luminal aspect to the other aspect. This may not be a perfectly oriented stomach because I could see smooth muscle here as well, but it is more or less the full thickness of the stomach. Here's some muscle cells. Here are some very subtle tumor cells. Notice how insidious and subtle they look. They don't look very much like tumor cells as well. And even a cell as small as this, or this, or this, or this, could represent tumor cells because they are. And certainly these are over here. And we could see that in some areas, uh, like here you could see a signet ring cell in which the nucleus is a little bit displaced. Uh, let's find it again. Here we go. And the cytoplasm uh, is filled with a mucinous type uh, material. Here's another tumor cell, perhaps with the signet ring. Perhaps this is too. Perhaps this is too. But in some areas, the tumor cells form almost abortive type uh, glandular formations. So let's travel uh, all the way throughout the thickness of this leather bottle stomach and find some more diffuse uh, tumor. This could very easily be some over here, but I'd rather not uh, uh, bet my life on it. Here's some tumor nests over here, 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 here. And notice not only is there a significant amount of true dense fibrosis associated with these tumor nests, but the whole uh, uh, histology of the stomach is very subtly disrupted. All of these are smooth muscle fibers here and here and here, which are kind of choked off or invaded by these tumor cells. Here's a nest of tumor cells. Here's a nest of tumor cells. Here's a big, bigger nest of tumor cells. And these are infiltrating almost like an Indian file pattern like we saw with breast cancer. And we're about halfway out the stomach. We could see some tumor here. That's almost an abortive gland, isn't it? There's a tumor cells. 
And uh, here we just passed by perhaps a large blood vessel. We're still rolling. Let's move down one more notch. Here's some tumor cells here. Here's some tumor cells here. Here's some tumor cells here. And perhaps if we zoom in on these, you can get a better idea that they really are malignant looking cells now. Look at the nucleolus on that cell. Uh, look at the hyperchromasia of that cell or perhaps small group of cells. This is a classical appearance of a linitis plastica Poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma infiltrating often in individual or signet ring cells diffusely throughout the full thickness of the stomach wall, making it look like a leather bottle. Thank you very much.